my flight with Scott. It's your girl Fashionisha here to give you all the flavor. Now, y'all, I'm driving, okay? So, listen. I won't be looking at y'all. And the angles is not the best. So, yeah. Excuse me. But, Entrepreneur Tip Tuesday. And I don't really have... I didn't come up with anything to just do for today. So, I just felt like, you know... Why not get on here and maybe give you guys some encouragement? I feel like as entrepreneurs, we all go through something. Like, it's not always up, you know, when starting a business. I feel like we all go through things. So that's just what I'm going to talk about on my way home today. Just try to give you guys some encouragement. Look at my bun, sis. First of all, before we get started, make sure you like this video, comment down below. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my video. Back to my channel. So last night I was checking my numbers and I saw that I reached 3,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you guys for 3K. It's just like we're growing so fast right now. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, give your girl a little anxiety, but you know, you pray for things and you have to prepare for things. So listen, I pray for things. I pray for growth and prosperity over my channel. Therefore, I must be ready to receive that, which I am. So, I thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank y'all for liking videos, commenting on videos. I see, I see everything. So, thank y'all so much for that. So, my entrepreneur tip today is just don't give up, you know. I feel like a lot of things can discourage you when you're starting a business. Seeing other people, how they grow so fast, and maybe you're not growing as fast. Seeing how other people get all this love, and maybe you're not getting that love yet. Or just having these plans in your head of how you wanted things to go or how you thought things would go and those things not going that way that that was me i had the plans okay this should do this this should do this this should bring me this and it's just like it didn't which is fine you know that's not we can't go off of our plans you know this is not this is not our world this is not our life you know we can't go off our plans we can only work towards what we want everything's not gonna happen overnight for us you know for some people it does and you know you just have to wait for that day it's hot I don't want to let the window down cuz y'all gonna hear everything it's a little high up in here it's hot in the car but you know you just can't get yourself down over what you plan to happen the only thing you can do is work for it to the best of your ability you know if you had a goal okay this month i wanted to make a thousand dollars if you had a goal of making a thousand dollars in a month and you did not reach your goal that's okay all you have to do is go in see what went wrong see what you can do better and do it give it your all do your best you can't you just can't beat yourself up over little things you know what i'm saying and don't give up so quickly like Okay, this month didn't go well. The next month didn't go well. A lot of stuff doesn't go well. Like, Nike wasn't Nike overnight. My boyfriend tells me that all the time. Nike was not Nike overnight. I know a lot of you do lashes. A lot of people are doing lip gloss. And maybe even that's discouraging you that uh, the business or the market is oversaturated. And I just don't, I particularly, don't believe in the market being oversaturated because I feel like yes a lot of people are doing these things and you can do it too but just make sure you bring something different to the table if you bring something different to the table you will be fine like who cares there's Adidas there's Nike there's New Balance there's a lot of things we haven't even heard of that are popping when it comes to apparel and stuff like that so just because the market is oversaturated doesn't mean you can't succeed you know just don't be lackluster with what you're delivering 
and you will be fine. Like, we all have something we can give to whatever we're doing. <clears throat> There's always something special about you with what you're doing. Just make sure that you portray those things. What's special about you to others, to your consumers? Me personally, I know. I know starting a business hard. I know being an entrepreneur is hard. It's like people don't see the back end of you trying to plan. You're thinking of things that people might like. You're designing a website. You're coming up with product slogans. It's everything. Like when it's just you, you're just thinking of everything. And I know how hard that can be. I know how frustrating it can be when something doesn't work out. But I just don't want you guys to quit. I don't want you guys to give up on your dream. That's one, that's another thing. Make sure you're passionate about what you're doing. If you're not passionate about what you're doing, it's not gonna work. It's just not. No matter how much you plan, how much you put into it, it's just not gonna work if you're not passionate about it because you're not gonna really care. You're not gonna really put what you can into it. That's just like working a job that you don't really like. If I don't really like a job, maybe this is just me, I don't know, but if I don't really like a job, I'm probably not gonna give that job my all, which you should. I'm not saying that that's the right thing to do. You should give it your all because, hey, if you can't take care of what you got now, the Lord may not bless you with what you want because you're not even doing what you're supposed to do what he gave you. So I'm not telling you like, if you don't like something, don't be the best at it. But it is particularly hard to do your best in something that you don't even have an interest in for real. Like I'm not finna sell no lashes. Like I'm not about to sell lashes. I'm not about to sell hair because I know that's something I'm not passionate about at all. Like. You know what I'm saying? Baby, I can't tell you the first thing about weeds. <laughs> I can wear it, <laughs> but I can't, you know, sell it to you. I can't tell you the benefits and stuff like that. So just make sure you're passionate about what you're doing. And don't be afraid to seek help. Like, if you can't come up with a logo design, if you can't come up with a t-shirt design if you can't come up with a slogan don't be afraid to seek help from somebody you never know who might be the one to give you that idea that you've been searching for for so long like behind these big companies behind successful companies there's a team there's not the ceo i promise you the ceo is not coming up with everything that they have going on the ceo is not coming up with every single word that you see across their promotion. They're just not. They have somebody in the team, on the team, that takes care of it because that's what they're good at. Like, I know we're small businesses, so we don't have this big team, but you have people around you, I'm sure, and if you don't, roll with the punches, you know, do what you can. But most of us have somebody around us who can help us out. Like I send my designs to my friends sometimes. I'm just like, is this cute? What y'all think about this? Blah, blah, blah. You know, get people's opinions before you set something out. Because I know it's a lot of, it's a lot of times where I think something is cute or I think, oh yeah, this popping, it's gonna hit. And then my friends might be like, mm, I don't know about that one. And my boyfriend helps me a lot. I show him things all the time. He's like, oh, they don't look right, blah, blah, blah. I don't think you said it. So use who you have, you know? You got to use what you have and what is the game that you want. So just don't get discouraged by what you don't have right now. I know it can be hard. I want us all to make it. I just feel like it's enough money out there for everybody, you know? <sighs> Baby! how much I love y'all okay I'm out here in this car trying to give y'all a video if you're an entrepreneur and you watch my channel I really want you guys to comment down below just some frustrations that you have or anything like I would like to encourage y'all personally you know I'm not super successful in what I'm doing or anything but I've been through a lot when it comes to my business 
I've changed a lot when it comes to my business. So I feel like I can, you know, give you guys what I know. As I learn, you will learn from me. So if you have ran into any of those problems that just made you, discouraged you or made you want to give up, comment down below. And don't be embarrassed because I, I promise you, every business owner, every CEO goes through something. And most of the time, we're going through the same thing. It's not easy. It's not always going to be easy. Like every month isn't always going to be great. Once you're starting off, it isn't always going to be great. I feel like what I need to start doing is setting more goals. Like just short term goals that I can hit maybe every week, every month. And I work to get those goals. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. And I suggest that for, you know, everybody else who's starting a small business, like if you're selling lip gloss or something, set you a small goal to, okay, I want to sell 10 lip glosses this week. But you have to put in that work to advertise to people what you have to offer. You know, you have to put in the work behind those goals. Don't just set them and hope they magically appear. I know y'all see my phone just shaking away. I look like I'm going across train tracks and I'm not. Oh. I ain't gonna never be able to keep no good tires out here in Memphis. God dang. What was I talking about? Oh uh, yeah, setting goals. So yeah, just try to set short term goals, you know, of what you want to achieve. Make sure that they are attainable goals. Like I can't sit here and say, okay, for the rest of the year, I want to make a million dollars. I, I don't have it. I don't have the plan. I don't have the manpower to make a million dollars. I don't have the money to make a million dollars. You no, know, it takes money to make money. So make sure your goals are attainable goals. Uh, I don't know if you guys are spiritual or, you know, religious or anything but i am i love the lord hallelujah you know and i just feel like you have to pray but you have to be once again intentional with your praying don't just pray you have to faith without works is dead so make sure you are actually working while you're praying if you're praying for new customers i'm praying for new clients whatever Make sure you're putting putting in that work to reach those new customers and new clients. So just make sure you're praying over your business for whatever you have going on. Pray over it. Even if you're not a business owner, I feel like, you know, prayer is number one. I pray over this channel all the time for everybody that's supporting all the time because I really do want it to be something good that I can literally share my gifts with y'all in a good way. That's all I want to do. That's it. That's it. Sir, you're real close. Just don't hit me. Because I'm going to get my Jeep faster than what I thought, you know. You're going to buy it. This the Memphis drivers to me. So I just wanted to come on this Entrepreneur Tip Tuesday giving y'all some encouragement. I'm going to do better with my content, you know. I'm going to try to stay consistent. That's another tip, being consistent in your business. But yeah, I'm going to try to stay consistent with my videos, especially the Entrepreneur Tip Tuesday videos, because I know when I was first started, I needed tips and stuff. So I know there's somebody out there starting now that may need this encouragement, that may need the tips just as bad as I did when I started. So stay encouraged. I always remember that it's something special about you. It's something that you have that others don't, and there's room for everybody. Like. There's no reason for you to down anyone that's doing the same thing you're doing. There's no reason for you to not uplift and help that person that's doing what you're doing. Like I saw somebody on Facebook, um, somebody on Facebook was asking for hairstylists that did um, locks or something. And I saw this hairstylist that I knew that did hair. You know, I put her name down there, but she also put 
other hairstylist name down there. And I just, I was like, okay, yes. Like, I just, yes, yes, ma'am. Like, I was just so happy to see her doing that because there's room for everybody. She can't do the whole world hair. She can't, she cannot do the whole Memphis hair. You know what I'm saying? And she's putting people that she know on because, hey, you might not like her work. You might like this person's work. But she was okay with it. She was okay with suggesting someone else. So I always, I always know that it's okay that five people do what you do. It's okay. You cannot service the whole world. So I always, you know, let somebody else do it. Be okay with letting somebody else do it. What's for you is for you and what's for them is for them. Thank y'all once again for 3K. We're growing, Flavor Squad is growing and it's making me so happy. Like I got so happy last night when I saw that. And I'm just, you know, I'm ready for more. If you're a part of Flavor Squad and you made it this far in the video, comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. And I don't know if you made it this far in the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure that you guys are staying encouraged with whatever you have going on. Even if it's just school or a normal job, make sure you're encouraged to keep warm. Remember what you're doing is warm. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment down below, turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss a video from me. And that's all I have for you guys. May your curls pop and your girl never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.